Hi, today I have a message called Just Ask. And I just wanted to say before this started that this is a little pocket of time in my day where I would be accustomed to assuming I don't have time to make this recording. Uh, and for some reason, I got told, yes, you do. And <laughs> you're going to do this and this. And it usually seems like I decide not to be stressed by not trying to squeeze things into a small amount of time. But that changes sometimes, I guess, and, and that's how this is right now. So there we go. <laughs> okay, just ask. <clears throat> There's one true will, and you can ask to see evidence of that. Whenever you find that you are seeking, planning, or trying to figure out, you have an opportunity to pause. In this pause, you can ask for anything. Ask to see evidence of the will that all share. This brings the peace that seems to be lacking. We are not telling you to ask for guidance yet. Not in this moment. First, ask to have a show put on for you. Why not? All you have to do is ask. Ask to be shown clearly that there is one harmonic will, and this harmonic will is fully capable of handling everything for everyone. You don't have to try to drop into it. Ask instead to be shown a display that helps you to sense and follow with much ease. You can make these demands, and we encourage you to do so. We want very much to show you the net of security, not at all based upon efforts you call your own, that is here for all of you right now. We want you to be able to see it for everyone. When people don't seem to be showing you evidence of our one true will, you can ask to see them as they actually are and always have been. Asking this is exactly the same as asking us to put on a show of harmonic will for you. When you are ready to see a clear reflection of what actually is instead of what has never been and could never be, we will show you. We have been waiting to show you, and it is our great joy to show you. Then um, a little song prayer came to me I, I was given before. I think I was given. Sometimes I wonder if it's somebody else's song. <laughs> I'm just remembering it. But whatever it is, um, I was asked to sing it again. So, show me how the light is everywhere. Show me how the guidance is right here. You can see problems or you can see reminders. What was formerly a problem is now a reminder to ask to see evidence of God's true will. You will be shown, and you will find it easier and easier to follow. There is a path that brings benefit to all. Guidance simply leads you upon this path. What used to be cause for a contraction into defense is now a reminder to ask to be guided in accordance with the harmonic will of all. Any edge you feel, ever, is because you are trying to do things on your own instead of in the flow with a net of security that is always here for you and all. Guidance is here for you, and its purpose is only to bring you into happiness. Guidance is essential for happiness and peace, but what guides you is only the true self of you and all. You cannot be led astray by what you truly are. You cannot be led astray by what your divine sibling truly is. Whenever you feel an edge or a tension, it is because you are looking upon a phantom guiding force. Give thanks that you can feel this tension and to go within until it eases. It seems as though you can decide if an other out there is being led by guidance or by a phantom. That's just a trick of shadow. You can't decide that. You can, however, offer the guidance of our true self to all you call other by following it yourself. You walk the path and it lights up for all. If you decide to walk alongside the path, 
while using the idea of the path to extract rewards from the world, it's okay. Because you will feel attention and you will know that alongside the path is not the path. Alongside the path is still working hard. You don't have to work so hard. Let us show you how this is so in all things without exception. When you are relying upon the guidance of a phantom through imaginary landscape, you will see others in that landscape as wrong. You will see them as misguided. You will see them as hostile. You will see them lavishing compliments. You will see them doing pleasant and unpleasant things, but always the tension, always the tension. You can't see anything real when you are walking with a phantom. So don't get distracted by any of the sights. There is one thing you can remember when you are walking along with a phantom in an imaginary landscape. When you see an other in that landscape, be willing to see what they don't have the ability to do. They can't do anything other than extend harmlessly as a beam of light. It may look and sound very, very different but pay no attention to the phantom show. It's all trickery. We have a show too. Being aware that you are viewing the phantom's show, ask for ours. Ask to see evidence of the harmonic will that is present and supporting all. It is a very joyful show, and you know this because you have already seen it. You can see this and nothing else. There is no need to check in upon the phantom's show because there is nothing for you to do about it. All of your doing is here in our show, the show that is equally ours and yours. You can feel the tension. You can always feel the tension of walking with the phantom. You can feel the sense of conflict. Simply surrender any sense of conflict into what is real, much like a body seems to surrender itself unto a bed that gives it rest. Rest is always available here and now, and it is always safe to accept it for yourself. It's showtime. It's a very happy time, and we are overjoyed to have this chance to show you. Thanks for listening.